Hello, ladies. How are you doing today? We are back with our self-care series of experts giving us their tips. And today we have Dr. Amba on, and I'm excited to have her share with us who she is and what she does to support um, moms. And uh, you can tell she's already going at it. So Dr. Amba, let us know, what do you, what do you got going? Um, well, hi everybody. I'm Dr. Amba of Sit Wellness, Sunrise Integrative Therapies, and right now I'm uh, dancing with Dr. Amba or cardio in the kitchen. So a lot of people, like moms, think they don't have enough time to exercise. They don't have enough time to go for a run or go for a walk even, depending on how many kids you have. And one thing you can do is just put on some music. I like this 150 80s soul and disco mix on YouTube. And I'm getting ready for dinner already. Like I'm cutting some vegetables and getting things prepared for later. And I, you know, do my dishes with a little bit of, you know, dancing. I mean, let's show me, let me see. Yeah, there you go. She's got some groove. There you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, the idea is to be a little bit out of breath mm -hmm. and a little bit of sweat. And that's all you need for having some good blood flow to your heart. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. It raises the vibration. You know, anytime you put your hands over your heads, you can do this with your kids. It makes you happier, just makes you chill. Mm -hmm. So hands up in the air and you are already raising the vibration. You're raising the roof and you're raising the vibration. Mm -hmm. So, and it's good for your arms. If you ever do belly dancing, it's good to have your arms up like this too. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. this one way you break up the stress hormone, cortisol. And I have to tell you, if you have little kids, when they wake up in the morning, like I had my grandson this morning, he's five. I had him, I turned on my music to wake him up and I was like, good morning. And he's usually very happy in the morning anyway. Mm -hmm. And even more so when I had him like do a little punch to the music to get the rhythm or, you know, do a little, I was like, let's do little circles and just like while he's laying in bed, lying in bed, lay, lying in bed. And so, you can do little things to already lift the vibration and the moods. Now, depending if you have teenagers, they'll be like, get out of the room, mom. But, you know, <laughs> whatever. Maybe not. Maybe they'll be like, wow, mom, you're dancing? How can you not be in a good mood if you're a little bit dancing, right? So that's one little tip. The other tip is circles. Woo! If you do spinning in the, 19, in the 1980s, there was something called spin therapy. So they would get kids that were really having a hard time to spin. So if you saw the LA Story movie with Steve Martin, Sarah Jessica Parker's in there spinning on the beach, mm -hmm. that also breaks up the stress hormone cortisol for adults and for kids. And you can see I'm already a little bit out of breath. So. I am yeah, my arms were tired. I got to put them down. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and you can do, you know, whatever you want, even like lifting your leg or little squats into the rhythm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, if you do a lot of those, then your, your quads are going to love you. <laughs> so the nice thing is you can, you know, mostly, I always say be very careful and just a little bit of while you're cutting vegetables, being careful. Mm -hmm. um, and, be mindful in our cutties. <laughs> yeah, doing that tool of rounding your fingers so you're not going to cut anything. And you can get your kids involved. Like, okay, it's dancing with mom in the kitchen time. I call it kitchen cardio or dancing with Dr. Amba. So for my four-month challenge, I'm having people, you know, do 30 minutes of cardio twice a day. So if you don't get any cardio right here in the kitchen, this is where you can get it. And this doesn't matter how old you are, you know. Even if you're not super mobile and you're in your 80s, you can still do a little bit of movement and, and get your heart rate up, you know? And that spinning thing I was saying, mm -hmm. not only does that break up cortisol, the stress hormone, so if you have kids who are having a tantrum, you can hold them and do spinning and they'll start Ooh. laughing, they'll start breaking up that cortisol, as well as turning them upside down. In oh, version. I do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. inversions so when you're standing on your head in yoga it's not just to 
uh, bring the blood flow. It's to also break up that stress hormone cortisol. And mm. just a tip for women, uh, for varicose veins, you can just put your butt against the wall and your feet up against the wall, having your feet up and you can be on your phone or whatever. The longer you have your feet up the wall, even just laying there, you're reducing your varicose veins. So mm -hmm. yeah, so that's a really nice one. If you want nice legs, that's a good tool. Um, but self-care is really about going as a busy mom. How can I fit in stuff, you know? How can I do things to help me feel good during the day? And look at you go. She's got rhythm. And even if you don't have rhythm, nobody has to see. Right. <laughs> Unless you're like me who's videotaping myself for the challenge I'm doing. Um, and it's, you know, you got to be in the kitchen anyway. Some people love to cook. It's not me. I do not love to cook. But since I'm doing the cardio in the kitchen, I'm like, okay, because I'm, I'm dancing and getting cardio anyway. Why, why not cook? Um, so, yeah, I'm doing all my prep, washing the dishes. Dishes was never so fun. And, so, and if you have kids, like my grandson, he, one of my grandsons who's two can dance really well. Yeah. And, Music, he's dancing and then the other one he's getting his groove he's not super he thinks about it too much but the two-year-old he totally just hears it and he just like he's like Bop. yeah I went to a I went to a mother daughter uh, mother son dance at my uh, son's school last year and he was getting mm -hmm. on the on the ground like spinning around on the ground and like break dancing I was very impressed Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, I have a doctor of medical Qigong therapy, Chinese energetic medicine, and this is part of energy. It's like your energy, your circular to, you know, your circulation of your body. You want the blood to flow. They say like hinges get rusty if you don't open the doors and open the windows regularly. You know, we don't want our hinges to get rusty, you know doing little uh, head rolls, doing shoulder rolls, elbow rolls, knee rolls, ankle rolls. We want the energy to flow through easily because when you have pain in your body, we say in Chinese medicine, that's stagnation. Energy, blood can't flow through easily. And be mindful with the head roll not to go backward too much because I have a chiropractic friend who's like, People roll their heads and they can hurt their neck. Don't roll. So I highly recommend don't go backward. Go forward in half moons. And then you can go back to the other side with your ear. But mindful not to, maybe younger people can do the whole backward. I don't know. Talk to a chiropractor on that because my chiropractor is like no back ones on that roll. So be mindful, careful with your neck. But one thing is if you do have a tight neck, really slowly do the rolls and that will help you come out of a tight neck. Um, I really like to uh, have my emotions expressed in a healthy way so that I can keep my vibration higher. So one self tool you can do also is notice if you find yourself being stressed and figure out what am I stressed about? And then is it fear, like fearless generations? Is it worry, which is, I say, the mom's one, and fears related to kidneys, worries related to the spleen. So uh, sometimes people have a hard time to lose weight. It's related to being worried too much and not trusting enough that everything's going to be okay, trusting God or divine, whatever you call source. And then hard is anxiety, nervousness, expectations not met. These are acquired emotions, not emotions you're, you're born with. You're born with virtue. So you're born in the heart with joy, tranquility, order. You're born in the spleen with trust, openness, sincerity. You're born in the kidneys, not with fear. You're born with self-confidence, inner strength, and wisdom. And uh, remember, my favorite one is acquired, acquired anger. If I have more run, more room right now, I should totally show you my running man. Oh, yeah. And the, uh, let's see. Oh, liver was anger, frustration, and patience, but the virtues you're born with, compassion, kindness, and patience. So mothers also have a lot of frustration, especially if they have teenagers or young adult, you know, where you're like, oh, I'm giving you this wonderful advice. Why aren't you following it? <laughs> so you get frustrated. But, well, that's really about control. You're trying to control. So there's a lot of tools with the uh, Qigong, medical Qigong, not like Qigong exercises specifically. 
So yeah, there's a lot of things you can do to raise the vibration. Did I miss anything? Mm -hmm. Lungs, lungs, lungs are sadness and grief, but you're born with courage, integrity, and dignity. So sometimes when you see that you're doing something that you're feeling like that's against my integrity, I'm doing something that I'm a little bit ashamed of, you know, treating somebody maybe not with respect or even our kids. kids. Yeah, like our kids were like not honoring that they can make some good decisions because we taught them well, like then we can, or we feel ashamed because maybe they made bad choices. Well, in the integrity part of us, in the lungs, we can, you know, do things to help bring that up. And so that's a part of what I do, but I'm the most big tool I'm giving you in this short little time is to move your butt because <laughs> you can bring your vibration up. Swing. I hope they're dancing with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anything to get yourself moving and you feel happy. And depending on the age of your kids, they can dance with you too. And especially in this time of COVID when people are at home with their kids a lot, you know, what are they doing for PE? If you don't have California weather where you can go for a walk, maybe you can just dance in the kitchen, cardio in the kitchen or dance with Dr. Amba. Yeah. My, can I say my offer for sure. this four months? This four month, uh, I'm not sure when it's coming out this, but the four month challenge is $20 and 21 cents for four months. And you get a bunch of videos of me dancing in the kitchen, teaching Qigong, teaching yoga, teach, uh, giving five minute meditations that people can do, guided meditations. And it's all about healthy habits, getting into the pattern of doing healthy habits. And people can win up to $1,500. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, and hopefully make friends because it's all women. It's all women in Europe and in America. So I made it an easy yes because I want to do it. <laughs> Can you hear this yeah. music? Yeah, I was like, this is good for my knee. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, my, my physical therapist is going to be proud of me. <laughs> yeah, so that's the thing. People have pain. They really need to move to get the circulation going. And you don't necessarily need to move. You can do things with your mind with Qigong. So, you know, even if you can't do the whole movement thing, you can do slow movement with Qigong that helps the blood flow as well. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be this. I teach the Qigong classes as well for everybody's health. That's really slow movement and breath, inhaling and exhaling, coming back together. Super slow, inhaling, expanding, exhaling, contracting, pressing on Qi, pressing on energy. And if you do that for a little bit, you feel a little tingling in your hands. Inhaling, exhaling, slowly coming back together. I do it a lot, so I'm used to it. But, and, and ideally, that thumb is relaxed. Mm -hmm. So there's like a bunch of things you can do if you're not really mobile that you can't. Maybe people have uh, something like they can't use their arms or legs. They can do things, little breath, and imagining they're doing something or imagining the energy flowing in the way that energy does flow in the body. So... Mm -hmm. Those are different tools. But the main thing is to raise the vibration and mm. our frequency of feeling good vibrates out to our children. So I guess that's the main message is if you feel good, your kids are going to feel good. If you feel, ah, your kids are going to feel that and they're going to respond. So we really got to have ourselves feeling good. So we vibrate that out. And when we feel good, chances are that our kids are going to feel good. They're going to feel that vibe. And uh, I'm going to talk more about judgment when I'm on your show in September. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that's about, you know, having more of a fascination. Notice yourself judging anybody and go, oh, isn't that fascinating? I'm judging someone. And rather being judgy, yeah. fascinated. Or comparing myself, right? Yeah. No comparing. Just rather be like, oh, isn't that fascinating? I'm noticing the other person and, uh, you know, radical acceptance, really loving what they're doing and then being like, well, that's a good model for me too. That maybe I can do something similar. Yeah, yeah I love that. I love that because I definitely see moms and I'm like, oh my gosh, they, they just do so much. And um, even moms that have like 
as many kids as me. So I got yeah. no excuse. Yeah. Are doing some really cool things. Yeah. And I, you know, I start to put myself down. Oh, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Oh and my God, I did that. I did that too. Yeah. I, I was, so, I was like, how are these moms doing soccer and karate? And like, how are they, ta how are they even keep that in their schedule? And I'm like, do they have their own businesses? Maybe that's why they don't have them their own. And then some are like, I have two businesses and yeah. I have soccer mom. And so, you know, there's a book also, a few of them, I think out there called Good Enough Mother. Have you heard of that? Uh, no, tell me. So the, the Good Enough Mother is saying you're doing good enough. You don't have to do everything that everybody else is doing. You're good enough. Are your, your kids got a roof over their head? Are they eating? Are you telling them that you love them? You're a good enough mother right there. Yeah. And, I mean, some people don't feel comfortable saying I love you to their kids. I mean, they, they, I mean, my mom said she loved me, but she also loved me with food. So like she, she gave me food all the time to express love. And I, I'm a little heavy because of that. I'm like, oh, I love food. I love love. <laughs> you know, that's Yeah, a, my mom does that now when I go and I visit. She um, is like constantly trying to feed me and I'm like, mom, I can't eat this much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my grandson too, I have to think, wait, you're a kid, you can't eat that much. But he's five and he's like, yeah, give it to me more. Yeah. He actually loves vegetables because his mom doesn't give him that much. And oh I'm like, yeah, good. I'm like, yeah, I guess that's a trick. My oldest used to really like vegetables too. Vegetables and fruit, he, um, he was open to try anything. And uh, so that's always fun when you got an adventurous child. Um, yeah. I can picture myself um, doing this and my teenagers just not knowing what to do with me. But um, it definitely has gotten my heart going by doing it this long. Yeah. And, um, and it's fun. We've been smiling. And yeah. um, my sister, my sister Shay, she, um, I'll, I'll always remember this. We were at a a dance and we were dancing and she's like, it's all in the face. So regardless if you're if you're dancing great, just have an awesome face, like you're confident, you know what you're doing, and you're having fun, and that's all you need. So you just mm, yeah, have that I mean, face going. Well, if you're not having fun, it sucks, right? I mean, it's either fun or maybe it's not fun. So yeah. like when you wanna have fun days, I mean you choose to have fun, you know, and dancing kind of helps you make that choice. Like, I'm going to do a little bit of dancing. Maybe not dancing isn't your thing, but you start and nobody's watching you. You can do whatever, you know, that dance like nobody's wa nobody's watching thing. Yeah, dance like nobody's watching. Mm. Yeah, so. Even though all of you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah, in my no youth, I was a headbanger, so, you know. Mm. You have the long hair for that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but Dr. Amba, thank you so much for being on here. I hope yes. you moms have been dancing with us and having fun with us this whole time and have really gotten um, some, um, you know, ideas on how you can have more movement and fun in, uh, in your life and um, move that cortisol and yeah. um, even get your kids in it. And involved yes. and making doing the dishes and making dinner more fun for yourself yeah. um if that's not something that you yeah and making the, the and making the tantrums if kids are having them have them spin you know because that helps and you can even lift up the little ones and hold them you know while you turn circles or turn them upside down and it breaks up the stress hormone. And that's just a band-aid, because really you want to learn to express the emotions in a healthy way, which that's what art's for. That's what dance is for. Dance actually expresses your emotions. So. Yeah, I love it. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. And thank remember, you. moms, uh, we are practicing getting better at our self-care. And with all of these tips that we've been getting on this series, I hope that you have found something that is starting to work for you and um, that you are becoming a rock star with your self-care. We'll see you later, ladies. Bye. Bye. Thank you.